Now, there's an interesting thing here is that a TV series is not like a film where it's a smart move to just go out, raise the money, shoot it, and then try to sell it. And that's not as much a viable option with TV. So the first thing I would say with TV is to know the market itself and know what you're looking to shoot. And when I say knowing the market, like going and saying, what show could this be right for? What, what network could this be right for? What streaming platform could this be right for? Who is who are the people that are going to be watching the show? So that's kind of your your first step in thinking about the show in general. Uh, then what you would do is start to put pieces together as far as this is what you want to shoot. If it's an unscripted show, if it's a scripted show, uh, you you have to have an idea of the unscripted show of where it's going and what the episodes are going to be like. Uh, with the scripted show, that's when you can write the actual pilot of the show, right? So you have the pilot of the show, uh, and then I would say you you don't have to write the full season, but maybe one, two, maybe three episodes you should also write. So you have kind of a collection of IP, really, intellectual property at that point. Um, what the unscript is a little bit different because what you would probably do is it, that that's a different approach because you would have, say you're doing something about a tattoo shop or something like that. You would have the subjects, the people that you're, you're going to be the kind of stars of your show. There were bios and things like that and kind of an overview of where the shows would go, kind of episode ideas and really kind of loose outlines for uh, episode one, episode two, all the way up to let's just say 10 episodes where you could lay out the entire first season, right? So now the key is you say, well, Tom, what do I do at this point? Do I raise money and shoot the pilot or you know shoot a couple episodes? The answer is no. I think the better move, and it is the better move as far as selling it goes, is to shoot a, a sizzle, really like maybe a three minute, two to three minute trailer slash advertisement for the show, really, at the end of the day. And so that people that you're eventually ultimately pitching it to can look and go, oh, okay, I see where this show's going, right? This is what it's gonna be. The problem with financing an entire series and um, you know, finance a couple episodes, finance a pilot or something like that, is that if and when a network wants to pick it up, they might go, great, well, the, here, we'll, we'll talk about the idea, we'll develop it further, but then that's scrapped, right? And it's tough to then go, well, what I have to do with everybody that was involved in the pilot and I have other investors and stuff like that. So that's not the most viable play. The most viable play is to shoot type, some type of sizzle and have that be the thing that you take out. You have uh, what's called the show Bible, and there's links in this video as well to give you an idea of what a show Bible is. And it, it, you have that, and you have your sizzle, and you have your kind of verbal pitch of the show, and that's the thing that you could take to the market. If you want to talk about markets, you're talking about real screen, which is the unscripted market. You're talking about uh, MIP TV or MIPCOM, which are markets for all types of uh, TV content internationally and in the US, and also NatP, which is an, a TV market as well. And so these are the, you, you can find more. There's all kinds online. I've just kind of named some of the major ones, and these are perfect examples of places to go to and be able to pitch your show. And when you have those elements that we're already talking about, then you could take it to those markets and potentially get a show deal.